previously on The Passage 2. I hope you enjoyed your last few days in Darwin. Go on, go, go. I think it was better than all my special international day. I really do miss my parents, I miss my sister, I miss my friends back home. Papa, Mama, Dada, I love you. After leaving Darwin, the midshipmen sailed towards Dili, the capital city of Timor Leste less than 470 nautical miles away from Australia. The day we reached there, I remember the first time I stepped out onto the hangar, I saw the huge mountain behind the ship. I was like, wow, that view was spectacular. The RSN last called into Timor-Leste in 2002, transporting logistics for a UN peacekeeping and humanitarian mission. RSS Endurance's arrival at Dili is a first for the RSN in more than 20 years. This historic moment also marks the first inclusion of this port of call as part of MSTD and is a testament of the warm relationship between the two navies. And that is really what made this trip special for us to be part of this once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience. During the cocktail reception hosted by RSS Endurance, the RSN and Timor-Leste Defence Force reaffirmed warm and friendly ties and the midshipmen seized the chance to forge new friendships. Singapore and Timor-Leste share diplomatic relations for more than 20 years and we hope that today, with the ship's visit, we can create opportunities for members of both our navies to foster greater friendships. Apart from the Timorese guests, there were a few other special participants at the cocktail reception. To our Singaporean community in Timor-Leste, we hope that you will have a little feeling of home through a visit tonight to RSS and Vietnamese. Very exciting. It's the first time uh, I'm boarding a Singapore ship uh, outside Singapore. I'm looking forward for local food. <laughs> I miss local food a lot. It was a nice surprise to see so many Singaporeans and the lingos and the slangs as well, so it felt a bit like a piece from home. Timor-Leste is still a developing country, it's still a very young country, so it's good to come down and see uh, a different world, basically. It's a good experience for them, I believe. Nothing brings people together quite like sports. But it's not just about the match. It's about the shared moments that echo beyond the playing field. Yesterday night at the cocktail, we were able to have a good meeting with them. They actually told us that they would try to find us today during the match. And soon enough, we got a special gift from them. Very pretty, very beautiful. Uh, so very appreciated, yes. The warmth and goodwill of their new friends left a deep impression on the midshipmen. Whoa! and they continue to discover more beauty in Timor-Leste as they explore the sights in Dili. Honestly, Dili is an unexpected one. We hiked all the way up to Cristori. Along the way, right, you could just keep taking pictures after pictures after pictures because the view there is really spectacular. Being able to see the landmarks and overall the people is really an amazing experience. Honestly, I think the sights that I've seen in Dili are something I'll never see again, so it's uh, very special. After an incredible 27-day journey away from Singapore, the midshipmen are gearing up for the final stretch of MSTD. With 1,600 nautical miles to cover, they are less than a week away from the sweet embrace of home. The countdown begins. Throughout MSTD, the midshipmen have been on a constant journey of assessment based on a spectrum of training assignments. Standing as midshipmen of the watch, vigilant during 24-7 bridge watch keeping, orchestrating leadership development mission events, 
and stretching their presentation skills during the 180 seconds sharing sessions. But it's not over just yet. Before their return to Singapore, there is one last round of assessment known as SUMEX. So SUMEX is a summative exercise uh, where we have various stations where we test the machine men what they've learned throughout MSTD. There are eight tests in total for SUMEX, three written papers and five station tests. It was quite stressful. There were a lot of tests to do in one day. In the written papers, the midshipmen dive into topics like Morse code, message drafting and relative velocity, or REVEL for short. After completing the papers, the midshipmen are off to the stations where they're tested on seamanship, safety frameworks, harbour duty, firefighting and damage control, and radar navigation. I think the topic that I was most nervous of would definitely be seamanship. This is not called the bow line. There can be so many ways to tie it. I'll always like try to grab a rope and like learn from different people. Thankfully, I managed to tie all the three dots that were tested. I think I was actually like quite proud of it when I was at my final dot because yes, like I finally managed to tie it and like accomplish it. I was most nervous for FFDC because especially for a huge ship like uh, the LST, there's a lot of things to remember for FFDC. CIC actual radio. But turns out actually FMDC was something that I didn't struggle too much in. For me, my struggle was when it came to my rebel test. Right, let's start. Let's all down, I was most nervous about radar. The day before, we actually asked for permission from uh, the officers if we could actually use the radar to do our practices for the test. Range 0.1. Okay, anything else? Uh, up. <laughs> if a midshipman doesn't pass any of the papers or stations, they get another shot at a retest on that topic the next day. After a long day of grueling tests, the midshipmen gather for the moment of truth. Their results are released that very night. How do you think you did for your summit? I have your results in my hands. If you see a red mark along your index number for the specific topic, then you have to resubmit for the specific item. So I'll give you the rest of the evening for you to rest, for you to study in preparation for resubmit tomorrow. Oh, very nervous actually. I think I want to see my results now. Better than expected, but I still need to retest up. Uh. Not so bad, I think it's better than I thought. How about the station I got four retests? Safety, I blanked out halfway, I forgot everything. Now, half the time I was just staring at the paper, I look and so, like, Captain Toh, I don't know. Then you're like, never mind, you got three more minutes. So I stared at the paper for three more minutes, okay? Okay. Then really, I just blanked out completely. I completely got nothing. Could be better. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I'm actually very thankful for my division mate, if in, because she guided me to use the radar, even though she probably had to study other stuff as well. But she took the time to explain to me. And so because of that, I was very happy when I found out that I passed. But still, I had to retest quite a few stations. With the looming retests, the midshipmen doubled down on their studies that very night. You answer already, eh? Anything else you want to and their efforts paid off. For we Summit, most of you did well. Most of you passed, so good job to you. Yes, everything's over. Now we're just waiting to go back home. And I'll sell, and I'll sell, and I'll sell. After a month-long sea voyage covering over 5,500 nautical miles, a familiar sight emerges on the horizon. Home. Hey, Changi Airport. Very, very, very happy. Sugar. Finally, after one month and a few days, just in front. Yes. We did it, we did it.
feels a bit unreal. Uh. Time really flies during MST. Initially, there was a lot of fear. What, 33 days are you gonna die on? Because it's gonna be so long, it's gonna be so shack. Yeah, but coming aboard, it's actually one of the, so far, the highlights of OCS. Uh. Because it's really where we get to do practicals in a sense. Because before this, there's been a lot of theory. Anyway, you really work with your friends and you create a deeper bond with your teammates and friends. I think that as a whole has been very fulfilling for me. Uh. As RSS Endurance pulls alongside Changi Naval Base, the energy on board the ship soars with the midshipmen gearing up for their final LDM event, marking the end of their MSTD. As the night unfolds, the midshipmen express their gratitude to the remarkable ship crew. These mentors taught the midshipmen the ropes and transformed RSS Endurance into a true home away from home. The camaraderie and lessons shared have created bonds that will last far beyond the deployment. For Endurance, the ship crew, they've always been willing to help us to really understand uh, what we're learning, especially on the bridge, because Every time you're on the bridge as a midshipman, you always have an appointment holder next to you. So they were able to really help with our bridge voice procedures and kind of explain to us, yes, you say your bridge voice procedures, but what exactly does it mean? And what exactly uh, can we take away from here? Seeing the ship crew and the officers, how they take in a lot of information at the same time and make decisions in a short amount of time, that critical thinking ability, I think, is something that I really, really want to try and develop. Beyond that, it's the more personal aspect. Even though they are all really busy and have a lot of demands on their time, the officers still were very, very willing to teach midshipmen and share with us their experiences, both on the RST and also in the Navy in general. So beyond the technical skills that you all were imparted, the one thing that I really want you all to remember is the Navy family. It's really truly so that I realised the term Navy family is quite legit. Everyone really just works together, have fun together and get things done together. I think it helped me to step out of that individualistic zone of myself to be able to work together as a team on board ship. The journey that brought 75 midshipmen to the shores of Thailand, Australia and Timor-Leste now reunites them with their loved ones back in Singapore. Uh, miss you, miss you. The whole sail has been a crazy experience, a lot of highs and lows. We went to three countries in the span of that one month, on a ship. See like midshipmen sleeping on the floors, sleeping in weird positions, a lot of us sleeping standing up somehow. Midshipmen, what's your day? Staying up late because of bridge watch keeping. You see the whole group just take sun at 4am. The stars at night though, legit. There are some days that I saw shooting stars, it was quite, it was quite amazing. Then I study rain. Look. Today we witness the successful completions of MSTD for the 99 MIS 32nd MTEC 1. One thing that MSTD really uh, helped me to grow in is the resilience to keep going every day and giving your best. MSTD is not an easy journey. It's up to you. How much you really get out of your MSTD experience is how much you're willing to put in. Over the past 33 days, all of you underwent tough training rigor as well as learned how to live and work on board the warship. I'm very proud of my friends to see everybody work together to push through this um, when we are all in the push-up position and everybody shouting at each other to uh, don't give up, to keep going. Because it's very easy to say I give up, I don't want to do this anymore. But nobody gave up every push through. I think together as a batch, we really learned how to overcome a lot of challenges. The camaraderie that we built within the 99 mids, 32nd that one, how we support each other and how we help each other to become the better versions of ourselves. I'll miss is definitely the camaraderie and teamwork and probably just being surrounded with the people that you call yourself a second home. And today, I'm proud to present you our ship patch to symbolize that we are now part of our crew that this warship can rely on.
think it's an extremely rare opportunity as an NSF to sail on board ship, to explore, to try new things. I, I would say it's an experience that I definitely won't forget. It really taught me how to sell something larger than myself and also put others above myself. MSTD made me even stronger in my belief that this is what I want to do in the future and that being a naval officer is the pathway that I want to embark on. Make no mistake, training is tough. You will learn a lot. You will develop as a person. Your leadership will also grow. It's doable. And once you do it, it will be worth it. Check, up, check, down, check, sail, check, order, land!